Have you ever been thrifting and you find this gorgeous chiffon dress or blouse, but part of the armhole or a piece of it is just shredded because that delicate fabric does not last forever? Well, today I'm gonna to show you how to repair chiffon. Someone recently gifted me this gorgeous 1960s dress, but the armholes in the armpit area is just shredded. So this here's the armhole and you can see we are literally missing a chunk of fabric here on this side. And we are also missing a chunk of fabric over here on this side. So you can see how this is shredded and falling apart. And today I'm gonna show you how to repair this. I see this so much when I'm vintage shopping and it just makes me so sad to see the dresses like this. The first thing we need to do is assess the problem of the hole. Where is it? Is it intersecting with other seams? What do we possibly have to seam rip to get this fabric to lay flat to be able to even repair it? So let's really take a look at the area that we need to repair. So in my case, the rip on both sides is going right into the underarm seam and it's also coming apart on the facing on the inside. So what I'm gonna need to do is rip out the facing here, all this blind hem work, undo this piece and all the stitching right here that's holding this down. I also need to do that and release it. So we need to release this area here and open it up flat. I also need to undo the seam here at the side seam a little bit to get into there. I've already done that. So you can see this is going to open up nice and flat and you wanna keep seam ripping it until the rip stops and you have an extra inch or two to work with. So my rip is here and so I went about an inch and a half beyond that last rip. And now what we're gonna need to do is seam rip this entire area on both sides so it lays nice and flat. So I need it to lay flat because I need to be able to sew another piece of fabric to it. So all fabrics work differently with repairs, as in denim, you can just kind of like zigzag over the hole, fill it in with some threads. But chiffon is so light and delicate that if you try to do that, your machine would kind of just eat it and it would look like a mess. So we need to repair this by using additional fabric. Now, if you've got a solid color garment, there's a good chance you can go to the store and find something that matches. If you've got a print like I do, you're never gonna find that same print, especially if it's vintage. So we need to go fabric hunting on the dress we already have. Let me show you how to do that. So if you're gonna use your dress as a fabric store, the first thing you need to do is turn it inside out. And you'll notice where you see the extra fabric. On this dress specifically, it's in the neck facing. We also have it in the armhole facing, a little bit over here where that giant rip is. And this dress just happens to have a bunch of it at the hem of the dress. So thank you to whoever hemmed it with this giant hem in here. So hems and facing are where you're generally going to find this extra fabric that you can use. So we can remove the facings, we can remove some of that hem and still keep the integrity of the outside of the dress. Also, if the dress is too long on you, you can always hem it and use that extra fabric for your holes. So the first hole I'm going to repair is this one here. It's the smaller of the two. And if I flip the dress here to the inside, we do have this facing piece in here with the fabric on it. So I'm going to undo all the stitching to release it. And then hopefully this here is enough fabric that I can pull it over and stitch it together and save it. If not, we're gonna have to take it from somewhere else, but we won't know until we get in there. So that blind hem came out nice and easy. And now we need to work that next stitch. So it looks like they just single folded it here to hem it, the edge. We're gonna get that out of there. Very carefully, chiffon is so hard to work with. You wanna make sure you don't snag it while you're doing this. Feel free to cut any extra threads as you move along to get them out of your way. You're gonna notice a lot of vintage garments have no edge finishes as far as surging, overcasting, zigzagging. They're just gonna have turned under edges. So you're gonna find a lot of raw frayed edges on the inside. So just be careful. Sometimes on these older garments, you're gonna notice that the thread is really brittle and weak and it just pops right out. That also might be an indication for you that you need to go back and reinforce some of your seams. So that way when you're wearing the dress, it doesn't just fall apart on you. I've definitely had that happen before. Okay, so now this edge here is gonna lay nice and flat and open. 
But now we have one more stitch. So I've got this row of stitches here that I need to undo. So now we can see all those stitches are removed, but we've got all these creases and folds. So what we wanna do is just iron the layers nice and flat so that way we can really see what we're working with. And now that I undid this, you can really see how big that hole is there that we're working with. So now that we have it nice and flat, my hope is that I can take this and fold it right sides together and sew up a seam here, a really small one, like quarter of an inch, eighth inch, really small. And we're gonna hope that it isn't so worn out that it's just gonna keep deteriorating. And if that happens, well, we're gonna reassess. So I've got my two layers pinned together. You're going to start at the back. You're gonna back stitch. I'm gonna go nice and slow. We wanna make sure the machine isn't eating this fabric or damaging it any further. This fabric loves to move around, so we wanna make sure it stays nice and steady. And it looks like I caught something in there, so let's stop. So I accidentally just ripped a way larger hole in it, but we're still going to repair it. First, I'm going to do two small horizontal repairs, and then I'm going to do a vertical repair. Let's hope this works, and I didn't just ruin my dress. Okay, we've got one little seam there. Keeping the fabric really taut in the back and the front is also going to help prevent it from being sucked into the machine. Okay, we've got another little seam there. So now we have the two horizontal seams repaired and sewn together. Let's sew this vertical seam and hope it works. So now you can see we no longer have a hole here. We have those two little horizontal stitches and that vertical stitch here. And the psychedelic print really lends itself to the repair nice because you can't even really tell that I've repaired this. And let me show you real quick how I'm gonna put this together just the way I found it. So you'll notice here where you can see all the red, that's the piece of chiffon that I have moved over to repair this hole. And because the dress is gonna fold way over here, it's gonna look nice and finished on the outside. And yes, we'll be missing a little bit of this print on the inside of the garment, but that's okay. So what I'm gonna do is stitch down the chiffon piece to the red piece here. I'm going to finish up that edge, and then I'm going to flip it to the inside and go ahead and blind hem stitch it back down. So what I'm gonna do is put it back just the way I found it. So now that I fold back the facing, you can see how this is gonna look at the end. We've got a little seam on the edge and a little one going horizontal, but it really blends in and you're never gonna notice this when I put it on at the end. So that hole is finished, but I can't blind hem it down yet until I do the other hole because we need to do that all in one step. So now what we need to do is take a look at that bigger hole and we're gonna have to source that piece of fabric from our dress fabric store. So I seam ripped and flattened this side out and it has just a giant hole in it. Um, so this seam here, I can just sew right sides together, but then we've still got this giant hole over here to deal with. So we're going to be taking off a piece of fabric from the inside of the dress to repair this. And before we add on a new piece of fabric, we're actually gonna cut this chunk off of here so that way it's easier to fit back in. So I know this feels scary, but we need to just remove this little chunk right here to get it out of the way. And now we can see how big of a hole we really need to repair. Um, again, the first thing I'm going to sew though is this little horizontal seam here because we've got a little rip going horizontally. So you can see I repaired that little horizontal rip there so now what we need to do is repair this giant moon shape here. 
So based on the size of the hole that I need to repair, I'm going to be using a piece of the back neck facing because it's going to be easier than having to take apart the hem. So let's cut a chunk out of this back neck facing. So first I'm going to seam rip the facing away from the zipper here, and then I'm going to cut the facing away about a half inch below the neck and down. And this will give me this whole piece to work with. And this makes it easier because I'm not going all the way to the edge of the neckline, so I don't have to worry about finishing the edge of the neckline again. But if you needed the entire facing piece, you could totally remove the entire piece and then finish your neckline with a bias facing, and then it'll still look beautiful and nobody will ever know you took that original facing. So let's get this facing out of here. Okay, our facing is removed by the zipper. Now I'm gonna cut away a piece of the facing, making sure I'm not gonna be cutting anything else underneath it. This part is always a little scary. There we go. So now we have a nice big piece of fabric to work with. I'm going to undo these stitches that you see right here and remove the red piece of fabric from the chiffon. And to finish the edge of the facing that you have left inside of the dress, you can serge it, zigzag it, overcast it, or flip it under and stitch it down just like you found it. So I seam ripped off the red fabric and I ironed the chiffon nice and flat. And now we have a nice big piece to work with. So depending on where your hole is and how big it is, you could approach this a little differently, but the basic principle is going to be here. So now we've got this bigger piece of fabric and we need to create a seam. So we're gonna have to place right sides together and sew around the hole. But this one here is not a straight line, so it's not gonna be just a straight seam. So to make this easy, what I like to do is wherever I do have a straight area, the biggest part, I'm just gonna seam this piece of fabric to the straight edge. So we're just gonna do right sides together and make a seam from here to here. And then after that, we can flip it back and figure out how we want to approach handling these angled awkward shapes on the side. So right now I'm gonna sew these two layers together. I'm gonna make sure I'm back stitching. Make sure I take out my pins before I get to them. And just take your time sewing these two layers together. Back stitch and cut. So let's check out what I just did. So you can see the stitching line right here. And when I flip this back, we've got our seam. But now we still need to attach the piece on both sides. It actually looks like the way this is curving up on this one, I can just keep sewing that. That's kind of interesting how that worked out. But this one, if I flip it back, it looks like I need to tuck this piece in to get that to lay nice and flat into the other one. So what I usually like to do is go ahead and iron that crease in there so I know where my new sewing line is gonna be. And then when I fold this back, I'll know exactly where I need to sew. But first, I'm gonna do the one on this side because this one's the easiest. So I've ironed it down nice and flat and I've got the ends folded under. So when I flip this back, we can see exactly where I'm going to be sewing because there's a crease inside of it on both sides. So we're going to sew right in that crease. So I'm gonna start at the edge, make sure I'm back stitching. And we're gonna follow that crease and blend into the stitching line that's already there. Back stitch and cut. Now we're gonna do the other side. So we're just sewing right in that crease. I know it's hard to see with this print, but I'm following that crease that I showed you earlier. So now you can see we have this big patch of fabric in here and it blends in real nice with this crazy print. So we really locked out with this one. So now what we wanna do is lay it nice and flat, line it up with the facing, and then we're gonna stitch the two layers together. And then the little extra here, we can chop off and we'll finish the edge. I'm gonna serge mine, but you could zigzag, overcast, whatever you like. 
And after that, we just need to sew up the side seam a little bit and then blind hem back down that armhole facing. And then we get to try it on and wear it out. So check it out. We have no more hole. Yes, you can see a stitching line, but it looks so good. Nobody's ever gonna notice that you repaired the dress. So the last step is going to be different for everybody. It's really gonna depend on what seams you needed to take apart to get to that hole. So for me, I need to sew up the underarm seam a little bit and then blind hem down my facing. Maybe you have a waist seam to finish. Maybe you have a zipper to put back in. It really just depends on where that hole was. So I'm gonna go finish that up and try it on and we can take a look. Here it is, we finished it and we are ready to wear it on the town. So as you can see, it looks like nothing even happened. It's like I just bought it from the store in 1962. Thanks so much for watching So Anastasia today. I hope you enjoyed learning how to repair chiffon. If you have any questions about it for your specific project, leave it down below in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you enjoyed the video today, give it a thumbs up, give it some applause, and let me know what video you wanna see next down below in the comments. And if you're not already a subscriber to So Anastasia, make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know when all the new videos come out. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much for watching today. And don't forget, you can add me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, so that way we can stay connected and creative together throughout the week. And if you're in Chicago, come on into the design studio and take a class with me. Information for that is at SewingAnastasia.com. And we are still working on our online sewing school, so keep an eye out for that soon. Thanks so much for watching today. Bye.